people welcome back to my channel and welcome to the final day of Christmas gift guide week today I am going to be sharing with you my Christmas theme park related wish list because I was doing my research and I found a few things that I would like but I won't be getting any of them because I my main present from my parents is a brand new phone. I'm getting the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I am incredibly grateful for, and it wasn't cheap. <laughs> um, so yeah, and like I just really wanted a new phone, like desperately, um, and I found a really good deal on Virgin Media. So. Uh, my parents said that I could have that as my main Christmas present and they did say to me like you can make a list of little things that you want as well so I sort of have things to open on Christmas day but there is one main present that I really 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 want and um, which is really expensive and I would rather just have the money to save up for that than like make a list of things that I want. So this video is a little bit pointless because I don't really have anyone to buy me any of these things um, because I don't have many friends and the friends I do have were not really doing like presents and stuff like I personally can't afford to buy loads of people presents and whatever um, so I don't expect them to buy me anything like I don't think that's really how it should work. Hopefully this will give you guys some ideas if you are struggling to create a Christmas list of your own uh, or if none of my videos this week have helped you then hopefully this one will. If you don't know what gift guide week is I should probably explain. So this week Monday to Friday I have been uploading a video every day at 4pm basically Christmas gift guide related hence the name gift guide week and today is the final day I've loved doing these videos I've loved this week so much I'm not sure how well they've gone down um because I'm filming these videos like way in advance so I'm not sure uh if people love them or if people hate them but if you have loved them and if you've given them any support then thank you guys so much I love doing these sort of weeks I have done Art and Towers week I've done Blackpool week and now I've done gift guide week and I just love doing them so much so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed these videos and appreciate the hard work that these videos take to put out. If you're new here, hi my name is Zoe, welcome to my channel, hit that subscribe button because I would love to get to 1500 subscribers and if you want to become part of my hashtag Onion Ring crew and if you just want to join my little family then hit the subscribe button. So I will say most of these items are Pleasure Beach related. I didn't think that I needed any more Pleasure Beach merch in my life and I kind of don't, like I don't need any of these things. Well, I need like one of them, but like apart from that, these are all things that I want more than need. Um, and I didn't kind of realize <laughs> until sort of a few minutes ago that these are pretty much all Pleasure Beach related because I just love that park so much and it's my favorite place on the planet and I don't know, everything I just came across seemed to be Pleasure Beach related, so I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so the first item on my list is the most expensive item on here, um, and this is something that I really, 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 really want, and it is Final Cut Pro for my MacBook, and Final Cut Pro is an editing software and it's basically a massive step up from iMovie, which is what I use now. Um, and I have used Final Cut Pro before and I love it so much. I've used it on my best friend Kaya's MacBook. Um, she was kind enough to let me edit on her MacBook for like two years and um, before I got my own because I didn't have anything that I could edit on. I had like a tiny Windows laptop and it didn't have enough storage to have any video editing software on there. It had like four gigabytes of storage, like it was crazy. Um, and Kaya had a MacBook, she had Final Cut Pro and she let me edit on her laptop for like two years which I'm so thankful for um, and it just really made me want to get Final Cut Pro myself. Um, I've been using iMovie for about two years and I do love iMovie and it is great for what it is, like it's free, it's fast, like it's great for what it is but I really want to step up my 
editing game. I feel like I've really stepped up my vlogging game so I want to continue that and I want to step up my editing game. There's so much that I would love to do in terms of like editing and I have so many like visuals in my head that I would love to bring to life and I just like iMovie is holding me back so much and I just want to get more creative. I want to get better with these videos. I want these videos to be more um pleasing and I want to put more hard work into them and more effort and stuff and like iMovie is very limiting whereas with Final Cut Pro there is so much you can do with that editing software and I feel like my videos would go from here to like here like they would I'm not saying like they're not the best videos in the world as it is and they're not ever going to be the best videos in the world but I feel like they would get slightly better and I've loved using Final Cut Pro on Kaya's MacBook um, and I really want it for my own MacBook um, but it is £300 which is the only downside about it because I am not rich, my parents aren't rich, my family isn't rich um, so I don't have anyone to buy it for me and like I said earlier my parents got me the iPhone 12 Pro Max which is incredible and it's more than like I could have ever asked for and they pay for me to live like they pay all of the bills they pay for me to have food on the table they pay for me to have my own bedroom to have a roof over my head you know like they already do so much for me I even felt guilty like asking for a new phone um so yeah so I have just asked them for money towards Final Cut Pro and I'm hoping that I'm gonna get enough money for Christmas um to buy it maybe at the end of the year beginning of january but i feel like i'm not though because i feel like i never really get that much money for christmas anyway because i have like a small family and i don't have many friends um so yeah but i honestly want final cut pro more than anything but yeah that is like the top thing on my list this isn't in any order i think because i want final cut pro so bad it's like the first thing that came to mind so it's the first thing that i wrote down um but yeah i want final cut pro so bad the next thing on my list is also a new camera um i'm filming with my old camera at the moment because my new cam well it's not really new anymore like i got it last year for my birthday um but my camera that i normally use for like vlogging and stuff is basically ruined like i went to alton towers today and i hated using my camera because it just wouldn't focus on anything like I tried to get all of these cinematic shots and be all artistic and it just wouldn't focus on anything and I was stood there for ages trying to get it to focus and it just wouldn't and it won't like zoom in as far as it normally does and like it used to so I don't know what's going on with it but it is absolutely wrecked so here is my vlogging camera that I use for all of my vlogs um, and the screen is actually also falling off. The screen is like a little bit cracked, not like cracked too much, but like just a tiny bit at the top. Uh, and then I've had to literally wrap this up like a Christmas present. Um, it has all of that cellar tape on it and then the screen is falling off. I don't know how well you can see, but it is falling off like that. So it means every single time that I want to film one of these videos, I can't because it kind of goes like this viewfinder the screen flips itself so it goes upside down so I can see myself now in my old camera and it's like straight and like my screen isn't upside down but if I use this the screen will be upside down so I can't see what I'm filming and um, when I had just have it like this like it's fine um, and when I'm vlogging I can hold it I can hold it sort of up straight so like I can see myself and it's fine um, but I just feel like this is so wrecked and I just really want a new camera. I don't really know what camera I want yet. I want one that's gonna let me do cinematic shots. I want one that's small and compact so I can take it to theme parks and I can just put it in my zip pockets. I can fit it in a small bag, like, do you know what I mean? Um, but I'm not, I haven't really done that much research into cameras. I am kind of looking at the Canon G7X Mark III, but the camera I'm using now is the Canon G7X original, then this is the Canon G7X Mark II. So I guess if I had the Mark III, it would kind of complete my collection, but do I really want to go with Canon again after my experience with this camera? I'm not sure. So this camera is kind of breaking on me as well. Um, so I just kind of need a new camera, but I mean this one is usable, whereas this one kind of isn't. I feel like Sony cameras are really good, I've heard a lot of good things about those. 
maybe I do need a bigger camera to make it last me longer, I don't know. Okay, so this next item, I'm not actually sure whether one of my really good friends, Abby, has bought it for me or not, um, because she messaged me the other day on Snapchat saying that uh, I should be expecting a parcel at some point. Uh, and I asked her, I was like, is it something that I've posted on my story? Because I've posted two items from the Pleasure Beach website on my story. Um, and I was like, was it the really expensive one? And she was like, it wasn't that expensive, the thing that I got you. And she was like, yeah, it's from the website you posted on your story. And I was like, right, because I posted the icon bed cover on my story as well. And someone has actually bought me that, which I can't actually believe. Um, because I just asked her because I didn't want her to buy me the icon uh, bed set and whatever it was um, because someone had actually already bought me that um, but she said it wasn't that so that is good um, so I'm not sure whether she's, she's bought me this I don't know what else she would buy me because she knows that I pretty much have like all of the Pleasure Beach merch and I don't know I feel like she wouldn't buy me something that she's kind of not sure of if you get what I mean so I don't know whether she's bought me this. I really hope that she has and I'll be so... I'll, I will cry if she's bought me this. But it is the Season Pass Holder Set. And when I saw this on the website, I instantly fell in love. And I honestly... I wake up every day and I go onto the Pleasure Beach website and I like to see how many they have left in stock. At this current time of filming, they have 29 in stock, so that might have dropped by the time this video goes out. Uh, the description says, this exclusively designed gift set for season pass holders comes in a stylish gift box where you can keep your pen, pin badge, key ring and lanyard and then it says limited availability so I feel like once these go out of stock they aren't going to bring any more back in and I just love everything about this. The lanyard I would use to put all of my Pleasure Beach pin badges on them because I want to start collecting some more of those so I would use my lanyard for that. You get a pin badge in this so I would put that pin badge on this lanyard. The key ring I would put on the lanyard and then the pen, I mean I use pens like every day anyway. So all of this stuff would come in like really good handy and I feel like it's always handy just to have a key ring about or like a lanyard or anything like that. Um, and then the box, like oh my god, I would treasure this box forever. Like I love this box so much and it's gold as well which is my favourite colour. My favourite colour ever is gold um, and this is all gold and it just looks so sleek and so polished and oh my god. The next item on my wish list is this hoodie from the Pleasure Beach website and this is the Navy Ride logo hoodie and I have wanted this hoodie for so many years and I've just never really bought it because I used to, well I still do have it, it's like hanging up on here somewhere, um, but I do have a big one hoodie and it's navy so it's the same colour as this, it's the same design, it's exactly the same hoodie but it just has the big one logo um, in the same like red as this actually. Um, and the colours work like really well together, that's really nice. Um, but it has the big one logo on it and at the time I was a lot bigger than I am now so I got it in a medium um, and it fit me perfectly, like it was great but I have lost a considerable amount of weight since then um, and that hoodie is now too big for me and it kind of just looks a bit stupid when I wear it. I think I've also just had my time with it anyways, like you know when you've worn a hoodie for so many years and you kind of just want a change. That's kind of how I feel about that hoodie. Like, I will, I love that hoodie. I'll keep it forever. I, I will always treasure it. Um, but I felt like it was time for a change. Then I got a champion cropped hoodie. But again, I just, I liked it for a while. But I kind of just want another change. Because I feel like that champion hoodie doesn't keep me warm enough. I need, like, a proper full-on hoodie that isn't like cropped or anything um, and I love the Pleasure Beach hoodies like they keep me so warm and they are so cosy and so comfortable um, and I really like this design because it just has like all of the main rides on it. We have Grand National, Avalanche, Steeplechase, Big Dipper, Infusion, Revolution, Valhalla, Icon and Big One and they have had this design out for a few years um, and they've never had Icon on it until 
I don't know how long they've had icon on it but I haven't seen it until now um, so it's really nice that they've like updated it and they have added icon and they actually don't have my size on the website which is really annoying um, I would be a size small or even like extra small would be more preferable but I don't know I kind of like my, hoodie, my hoodies to be a bit more oversized anyway so I guess a small would be like perfect um, so yeah it's annoying because I don't have any smalls in my size and every single time I've gone into the gift shop I have never seen a size small and I even asked a staff member one time if they had any like in the back or anything he went to go check for me he was so lovely um and they didn't which is so sad so even if like someone did offer to buy this for me like they couldn't because they don't have my size um but i do really love this hoodie and i love the design it's 29 pounds 95 so it's kind of like your average price of a hoodie anyway um and yeah i just really love this hoodie i've loved it for a few years um and as soon as it comes back into stock if i have the money for it uh then i would definitely be buying one um but yeah, I really like this hoodie. This item does actually say that it is out of stock and it's like completely sold out. However, I really wanted to include it because I do love it so much. And it is the Big One Car 3D model. And this is £80, which is so expensive just for something that I would like keep on display like on here or something. However... I really do love it. As soon as these models were bought out, I instantly fell in love with them. They have one with the old big one train on there, which I love. They, ha I think they have a Valhalla one. They have a Big Dipper one. They have an Icon one, which is beautiful. Um, and they just have like a really good like selection. And I would honestly, I would love to collect all of these models and then like maybe buy a shelf and just put them all on that shelf and have them all on like display and just have them in their own space rather than try and like fit them on my little display back there um, and I just think it would look so sick if I just had them like all lined up next to each other like oh my god it would look so cool I know Pleasure Beach and I know their merchandise and I know that their merchandise is great quality I haven't had one Pleasure Beach product that I haven't liked and they've lasted me so 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 long and I just love their merch like it's great so I think £80 like I know that it would be worth the money but it's a lot of money <laughs> um but like you guys know how much I love the big one it's my baby it's my favorite ride in the entire world and the love I have for the big one is just out of this world like I love it so much um so to have this in my life I would honestly be over the moon um but it is sold out and it is 80 pounds so not sure whether that's actually ever gonna happen but I do love this and it also oh my god you get a small certificate as well which is like the cutest thing ever the next item on my list is a personalised Pleasure Beach brick. This is a very similar concept to what Autumn Towers did for their anniversary. Was it for an anniversary? Or I can't remember what, like, why they did it. Um, but they have basically something similar to this in the plaza. You could like personalise your own brick and they put theirs on the floor. Whereas this is for the 125 years. Uh, of Pleasure Beach uh, and it's actually going to be a wall instead of just like on the floor. So the price ranges from £45 to £70. So it's £45 to actually get your personalised brick put into the wall um, and then it's actually £70 if you want the brick, like a replica of it, delivered to your house. Um, so yeah, I just think this is an amazing thing. Like I said earlier, I love Pleasure Beach, it's my favourite place in the entire world and to have like, I don't know what I'd put on it but to have like my own brick on that wall and just be part of that celebration, I would cry. Like I'm not that bothered about like having my own brick sent to me because that is like super expensive um, and I don't think £45 is like a bad price at all to have your own personalised brick and I could like take photos of it and stuff so I'd always have it as a memory if they like get rid of the wall and whatever um but to have my own brick as part of the wall as part of their 125th like anniversary like how sick would that be i really don't know what i'd write on it like i'm trying to think of something but i don't know i'd probably just say like 
thank you for making me so happy or something like I don't want to be too cringe I don't want it to be too long like I don't know so I try and think of something if like you know I was going to get this but and I just think also like to give this to someone as a Christmas present would be like the best thing ever and like it would have so much meaning behind it like it would be the sweetest thing to gift someone um, and it also does say please place your order before the 15th of December 2020 to guarantee your brick will be installed in time for the 2021 unveiling so you only have until the 15th of December to order your brick um so you know that's not very long away now so get on it like get doing it um but yeah I think £45 is like a really good price because it isn't like obviously it's not cheap at all but it isn't the most expensive price so it's a nice sort of middle range kind of price point I guess it I mean obviously it depends on like everyone's budget like for me this is like a really expensive present but for other people this could be really cheap this could be like in the middle so this next item or items on my list is again something that I have looked at for a while I've just never really bought them I don't really know why I think it's because like my display I have already is so like cramped and I can barely fit anything else on there um so I think I've just never bought these because I've never really had the room um I don't really know why I've put them like on my wish list because I can just buy these like pretty much whenever um however it's just nice to receive gifts um but it is the big one shot glass and then because it is a three for two offer on all drinkware uh, I have chosen three shot glasses that I would love. I mean, I would love like all of the shot glasses, but if I could only pick three, then these are the three that I would choose. So the first one I would pick is the big one, of course, like, did you really expect anything less of me? Um, and I just, I love this design so much. Like it is so beautiful. It's not the most accurate design in the world. However, I can kind of look past that um because it's just so beautiful um and i've seen all of these shot glasses in person and i love them i'm not an alcohol drinker i just don't really drink alcohol so i don't do shots um so i wouldn't use these and i would only have them on display um and like basically i really want to redo my room um like i want to get a new bed i want a desk i want a desk chair i want to get rid of my wardrobe and i want to get drawers instead just so i might have a little bit more room in my like tiny cramped room so i think like when i get a desk i think i would honestly if i only had like three of these shot glasses i think i would just like put them on my desk and just have them on display on my desk instead of like have them cramped up on there and then like I wouldn't use them so they wouldn't get ruined they wouldn't get broken and they would just look really cute like all just sat next to each other like it would just look really cool um so yeah I like I don't know I just really like them and if I ever did want to do shots one day maybe I could use them but I would just have them on display and they are £2.95 so like really not expensive at all. The second one I would go for would be the infusion one. This one is insane and it looks so pretty and I kind of regret not buying this on my last trip even if I just got this one like I would have been happy um but I think like maybe on opening weekend or something I might have to make a cheeky little purchase um because this infusion one is just the most beautiful i love infusion anyways and i love all of the infusion merch like i think it's so nicely designed like they are beautiful designs um and this shot glass is honestly so stunning i feel like the photos on the website really don't do it justice but honestly it's so beautiful like i am in love so 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 much um, and oh my god this would just look so nice on my desk like next to all my other little things that I have on there and oh my god it would be amazing and then the final one I would go for uh, is the icon one because I have icon everything someone has bought me the icon bed sheet so I have that on the way which I am insanely grateful for like I am the luckiest girl in the world 
Um, I have Icon sweatshirts, I have, well sweatshirts, sweatshirt, I have Icon t-shirts, I have Icon jackets, I have an Icon hat, I have Icon gloves, I have Icon mugs, I have Icon everything. So I feel like this would be nice to add to my Icon collection. I should just do a video just of my Icon collection because I have so many things. Um, but yeah, I, like to be honest, the design possibly isn't my favourite but I still do really like it and it does look very pretty. So the next item is from eBay and I have seen this book on eBay for quite a while. I've just never really sort of bought it because it is quite expensive for what it is. Um, and it is a Blackpool Pleasure Beach 100 Years of Fun book and on the front it has the big one's old train um, and then it has, oh it says the big 100, that's so cool. I feel like because this is Pleasure Beach and there is quite a few photos in here, I would happily read this because I have the John Wardley book and I said to myself I was going to read it throughout lockdown. Have I started it yet? No I haven't. I haven't read a book in like five years. So like for me to actually pick up a book and start reading it is going to take a lot of motivation but I feel like because this one has loads of photos in it I love Pleasure Beach, I love the Pleasure Beach documentaries I love seeing how Pleasure Beach has evolved from like nothing to where it is now and like I just love seeing old pictures of Pleasure Beach and I love reading about it as well like it's something that I genuinely love I would actually read this book whereas the John Wardley one like, I still love all of that but not as much as Pleasure Beach so uh, you do have to bid for this item and currently uh, it is £19 and £3 postage. So the next item on my list isn't actually available anymore because it was from eBay uh, and there was like people bidding for it and whatever but I wanted to include it because I still love it and if anyone knows where I can get one of these then please do let me know. Uh, and it is a big one t-shirt and I think this was bought out on the year that the big one actually opened and I just love this t-shirt so much. So it's grey, which is like one of my favourite colours for t-shirts. I think grey just really suits me. Um, it's not like massively grey, it's kind of like a grey whitey colour um, from what it looks like from the pictures. Um, and it basically just says the Pepsi Max big one and it has like the old train design uh, at the bottom it says the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world and then on the back it says been there, rode it, done it and this would be absolutely huge on me because the t-shirt is in extra large um, and I am definitely not an extra large just to have this as mine I would cry like I would be so happy but this isn't only one of these that I've seen, um, it does say in the title that it is like rare so I feel like not many people like will have these. If, if I mean if Pleasure Beach could like bring this design back that would be incredible. I mean it wouldn't be the same because it's not, you know, like you kind of know that it's not from the year that the big one opened. But I do love this design, maybe not on the back, maybe they could just make the back like plain or just have like the Pleasure Beach logo or something. I do really love this though and I'm so sad that it's gone. So the final item from eBay are these Blackpool Pleasure Beach books slash brochures and it says Litchfield Palette of Life Guide, I don't really know what that means. But basically it is three books on Pleasure Beach and like I said earlier I love having books about Pleasure Beach. I love seeing pictures and videos and like reading about it and whatever and then this also has my birthday in it which I think is fate like I think that's a sign that I need this book in my life um so my birthday is the 4th of August and this says 2001 I was born in 2000 so it's really annoying that it's like one year later however I would have been one years old when like this bit was like all written out and stuff um, and it's got like oh my god it's got like hand drawings in there and like sketches and stuff oh that looks so sick um, so yeah I would absolutely love looking through these however the price 
is very expensive so again you do have to bid for it and the highest one it seems is 35.99 plus five pounds 50 postage a fiver for postage is so expensive if it was like next day delivery probably wouldn't mind but i mean it's from ebay like it's not going to come the next day and i mean 36 pounds just for three books i get that like they are old they are rare you're not going to find these anywhere else so i do like i can kind of justify the price but again i kind of can't at the same time because 35.99 is very expensive and then the final item on my wish list is actually not pleasure beach related big shock i know uh and this is the alton towers wickerman t-shirt in a kid size 9 to 10 and this is from an app called depop it's very similar to ebay but this is actually easier because like the fees are less and it's just easier to sell on here than it is on ebay however your stuff might sell quicker on ebay than on depop i do love depop though like they have some great things on there um, but there is a story behind why I want this t-shirt. So basically, I've discovered this year that I can now fit into kids clothes because I'm a very small person. I've lost a lot of weight, uh, which I don't like talking about and I don't like people commenting on it either, so please don't. Um, but it means that I can fit into kids clothes and it means it also saves some money in my bank account as well because kids clothes are so much cheaper than adult ones however the designs aren't as great and there isn't as many options available but i've been wanting this wickman t-shirt for seven months honestly i've wanted it since july since alton towers reopened so however long that is and every single time i've been to alton towers i've been into towers trading i've been into the wickerman shop i've been into the smiler shop i've been into like all the shops that they have trying to find this t-shirt in my size could i find it no i haven't been able to find this t-shirt anywhere i've looked on ebay nothing i've looked on the Orton towers website nothing i've looked everywhere i found nothing until i found it on depop and depop isn't really the place that i would think that you'd have a t-shirt like this because i mean if you're going to get theme park merch you're best to go to like ebay if you want like rare sort of theme park merch there isn't really much on depop um however i someone is actually selling this t-shirt and it is in a kid size 9 to 10 which is the size that i am uh and i've never been able to find it anywhere you know like i've wanted it for so 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 long and i have almost i've like come so close to almost buying this t-shirt myself um and i don't know i've just i think i've just like wanted to save money so i've never really bought it um but they are selling it for 10 pounds and then shipping is three pound fifty so 13 pound fifty so i mean it like it is a bit more pricey than you would pay at like towers trading just because of like the delivery but if it means having this t-shirt in my life, I'm willing to pay that. But I just love this design so much. Um, and I just, you know, I love Wicker Man. It's one of my favourite coasters. I just love this whole design. I love how it goes across, like, the whole t-shirt. Like, it's great. Uh, and I need this in my life, basically. So <laughs> that is the final item on my wish list. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't make this video so I could, you know, be like, oh guys, like, buy me this, buy me that, I'm expecting this, like, I'm not at all. I'm appreciative of just, like, everything that I already have. Like, I can't believe that I'm literally getting, like, a new phone, um, like, and then whatever else I get is just a bonus um, and like I said I just want money for Final Cut Pro uh, but I just thought this would, be, this would be a really fun video to film and hopefully it's given you some ideas um, to add to your Christmas list or to get someone else for Christmas I will link everything in the description box if it's still available because you know by the time this video goes up some things might not be available on like eBay and whatever so I will link whatever I can in the description box down below I really hope you guys have enjoyed gift guide week. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure how well it's gone down because uh, this video is filmed like five days in advance. Um, 
However, I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. If you want me to do any more sort of weeks like this, then please do let me know. And if you have any more Christmas video ideas, then again, please do let me know. I feel like I'm kind of struggling now. Like now I've done this week, I don't really know what other Christmas theme park videos to do. So if anyone has any, any ideas, then please comment them down below or message me on any of my social medias. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video. Bye.